Hey everyone, so in this video I want to show you how to take the derivative of an exponential function with a base of b. So we've previously talked about how to take the derivative of an exponential function with a base of e, which is Euler's constant, um, but we haven't had, a ch had the chance to talk about taking the derivative of an exponential function when its base is b. Now in the video where we came up with Euler's constant, uh, we came up with it using essentially a method where we attempted to take the derivative of an exponential function with a base of b from first principles, um, and we weren't able to complete it, but uh, we were able to notice that the der derivative of an exponential function with a base of b was equal to itself multiplied by some constant. And kind of the thought process that we went through was we had to decide, okay, well, what value... Um, of the base would allow that constant to be equal to 1, and that's actually how we came up with uh, Euler's constant e. But that's kind of where we left things off. So in order to do this, there's a couple things I'm going to want to remind you of. So the first thing is going to uh, basically just be a property of, uh, of exponentials and logarithms. It's a relationship between the two. So let's say that we have some value b. Now, in this scenario, we're going to say that b is a positive number, so it's not going to be 0 or negative, so b is a positive number. Now, we should be able to use exponentials and logarithms to write the, uh, the number b um, in, in a different format. So specifically, I should be able to rewrite b as a to the power of log base a of b. And uh, again, it doesn't really totally matter what a is. a is not going to be a negative number. Um, but the point is that we should be able to write the uh, value b as an exponential with a base of a using this general format. And again, the reason why we can do this is because exponent, an exponential with a base of a and a logarithm with a base of a are opposites, so they sort of cancel each other and they would give us b back. Now, what we could do is we could take this rule and we could apply it with a base of e. So what that means I should, is I should be able to do the same thing by saying that b can also be written as e to the power of ln of b. So this is just the very same rule, it's just that instead of uh, having some general number a, we have the number e, Euler's constant. So b is equal to e to the power of ln of b. Okay, great. And again, I'm just going to remind you that b is going to be some positive number. Okay, so we're going to be using this in uh, our kind of uh, proof for the derivative of an exponential function base b. All right, so let's say that we have an exponential function base b. So we have f of x is equal to b to the power of x. So what we're going to do is, in order to take the derivative of this, we're going to rewrite this function. I'm going to get you guys to notice that the base of this is b. And again, since it's an exponential function, b is going to be some number that is uh, going to be greater than 0. And we usually say that b is not going to be equal to 1, but it doesn't really matter too much here. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the rule that I just reminded you of to rewrite the base b with a base of e instead. Okay, so that means that instead of having b to the power of x, I should be able to rewrite this as e to the power of ln of b to the power of x. So again, the idea is that since b can be rewritten as e to the power of ln of b, I can replace the base of b with e to the power of ln of b. Okay, so now notice that what we have here is essentially a power of a power. It's e to the power of the ln of b to the power of x. And that means using some simple exponent laws, I should be able to just multiply the exponents. And that's going to give us e to the power of ln of b multiplied by x. So what I have here is uh, it's the exact same function I started with. It's f of x equals b to the power of x. But we've rewritten it in another way. And specifically, we've rewritten it in such a way that the, as the, the, so that the base of the exponential is now e. And that means that we should be able to deal with it in terms of its derivative, because we know how to take the derivative of an exponential function with a base of e. Okay, so let's take the derivative of the function in its current format. So if we're going to find f prime of x, well, let's take a look at the function f of x in its current form. It's e to the power of ln of b times x. Well, I'm going to remind you guys that b is just some positive constant in this scenario. So the ln of b is just a constant. So what I have here is e to the power of some constant times x. So this is just going to be an exponential function with a base of e, but it's actually a composite function as well. It's like I've taken the function e to the x and I've replaced the x with a ln of b times x. And that means that if I'm going to want to do the derivative of the function, I'm going to be using the chain rule. 
Okay, so the chain rule says take the derivative of the error function first. So the error function acts like e to the power of x. So that means that the derivative of this function is going to be itself, because we know that the derivative of e to the power of x is itself. Okay, so the derivative of the error function is going to be e to the power of ln of b times x, and now we need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function to complete the chain rule. Well, the inner function is ln of b times x. Remember that ln of b is a constant, so we just have a constant multiple of x as our inner function. And so the derivative of a constant multiple of x is just going to be the constant, and in this case the constant is the ln of b. So we're going to be multiplying by the ln of b. So this is actually a derivative. But what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite it in a, a slightly nicer format. So I'm going to direct your attention to this, uh, this factor right here, e to the power of ln of b times x. And I'm going to remind you that that's exactly what we had when we re rewrote f of x. And of course, that means that we can work backwards and we can take that and rewrite it as b to the power of x. So I'm going to replace e to the power of ln of b times x by b to the power of x. And that's going to give us b to the power of x times the ln of b. And this is how we more traditionally write the derivative of an exponential function with a base of b. Now I want you to take a look at that, and I'm going to get you to notice that that's just, uh, that just means that the derivative of an exponential function uh, with a base of b, so the derivative of b to the power of x, is itself multiplied by the ln of b, where again the ln of b is going to be some constant number. And I'm going to get you to remember back to the video where we discussed the derivative, or we, we investigated the derivative of an exponential function with a base of b from first principles, right? We couldn't, uh, we, we couldn't finish the derivative from first principles, but what I did point out to you was that the derivative was equal to itself multiplied by a constant. Well, it turns out the constant is just the ln of b. Okay, so let's conclude by writing our, uh, our final derivative rule then. So therefore, if f of x is equal to b to the power of x, then f prime of x is just going to be equal to b to the power of x times the ln of b. So there's our derivative rule if we want to take the derivative of an exponential function base b. So let's use it to do a couple of examples. So let's suppose that we have this function, f of x equals to uh, 7 to the power of x. Now in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can come up with a formula for the nth derivative of this function. And the idea is that n is just going to be some, you know, positive whole number. So, for example, if I wanted to find the uh, 53rd derivative, I'd be able to do it using a formula. So what I think we should do to start with is we should start by taking the first derivative. Okay, so let's see. f prime of x. Well, this is just a basic exponential function with a base of 7. So that means it's going to be equal to itself multiplied by the ln of 7. So we have 7 to the power of x multiplied by the ln of 7. Okay, so there's our first derivative. All right, well, why don't we do a second derivative and see if we can come up with a bit of a pattern. So let's do f double prime of x. Okay, well, hold on. The function that we're taking the derivative of now is 7 to the power of x times the ln of 7. Keep in mind that the ln of 7 is just some number. So what we have is a constant multiple of 7 to the power of x. Okay, well, since seven, uh, ln of 7 is a constant, that means that we don't really need to take into account too much when doing the derivative. We're just going to write down ln of 7, and then we're going to multiply by the derivative of 7 to the power of x. Okay, well that just means that uh, we're going to get 7 to the power of x times the ln of 7 multiplied by the ln of 7. Okay, well notice that I have ln of 7 written twice, so two factors of ln of 7. And that means that I can rewrite this as 7 to the power of x times ln of 7 squared. And so hopefully you can kind of see the way that this pattern is going to work. Anytime I take a another derivative, I'm just going to add in another factor of the ln of 7, and that exponent on ln of 7 is going to go up by 1. Also notice that the exponent on ln of 7 is, well, it's also just going to be the same as the, as the derivative. So we did the second derivative and we got a power of 2. When we had the first derivative, we just had a power of 1. So you might be able to kind of figure that, well, if we do an nth derivative, derivative we're going to have a power of n. And that's exactly what we're going to have. So if I want to know the nth derivative of the function f of x, well, that's just going to be equal to 7 to the power of x multiplied by the ln of 7 to the power of n. So yeah, that's the uh, derivative of an exponential function with a base of b. Hope it's been helpful. Take care.